What's up, Shefty? Hello there, Rich. How you doing? Uh, I, I had to call you up. What what gives? What's this all about? What can you tell me? Well, I said this since we reported the story this morning. I think a lot of people have said, "Was he forced out, or did he resign?" I, I think it's very clear he resigned, and I think it's very clear that he and Mike Zimmer had some philosophical differences on the direction of this offense. And I think it's very clear that North Turner was near the end of his career. And here's where I'll make an assumption. Probably doesn't take kindly to suggestions when he's considered one of the best offensive coordinators in the game and has a pretty good he's doing out there. I don't think anybody but being told what to do or things when they have the type of experience that he does. I think you keep an open mind, of course. But somewhere in there, when you're near the co- end of your coaching career and you know you don't have much time left and there are different ideas about how the offense should run when you've got your ideas, at some point you probably just say, I, I don't need this anymore. You'll notice today Mike Zimmer, I think, tiptoed around a lot of different questions, didn't provide many specifics on the answers, and I think all of us are still left to wonder exactly why this came down. I don't think we've had have gotten the explanation, the real explanation as to what happened. But I'm surmising, again, to think that there was some type of disagreement between the two, that North Turner just said, not worth it, don't need this. And I think part of the reason he took that job anyway was to be able to work with his son, Scott Turner, had done it since 2014. And ultimately, in the end, after he had some discussions with Mike Zimmer, he said, I'm going my own way. I'm done with this. So and what, what, then well, what, were, what would the philosophical differences be what with all those injuries that were suffered and Sam Bradford coming in in eight days and it worked so well for the first yeah. five weeks of the season, Adam. I mean, how did it go south so fast? It's a great question. You know, somebody asked me this morning, I said, well, this offense was a disaster. I said, oh, that, that's very easy to say right now over the last two weeks. But for the first five weeks of the season, we were saluting this offense and the job everybody was doing, talking about what a perfect fit Sam Bradford was for this offense. So what's the truth? And I don't know what Mike Zimmer wanted to do. I don't know what Norm Turner imagined that he was continuing to insist insist upon his own path. But the way it was described to me this morning, Rich, when I got the initial text was, this had been, quote-unquote, brewing for a while. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's something like they lost the last two weeks, and all of a sudden – Mike Turner said, we're going to run the ball more. And North Turner said, no, we're not. Or we're going to take shorter drops or we're going to get rid of the ball faster. Whatever he said, I don't really don't know that. But I don't believe it was some sudden incident today or build up over time with a coach who was nearing the end of his career who ultimately in the end said, I don't need to do this anymore. And I'm not going to do this anymore. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. 